How do you choose the best color for your roof? And how do you consider color trends? Experts from Sherwin-Williams answer these questions on today's Q&A Monday. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett with Sheffield Metals. We've got Adam Mazzella back with me. And again, we're here at the Sherwin-Williams facility in Warrensville Heights, Ohio. Some very special guests. How are you guys doing? Thank you very much, Stephen Lane and Jeff Alexander from Sherwin-Williams. I appreciate you being on the show today. Great to be here. Great to be here, Thad. So check out in the description, we've got every question we talk about today. You can jump ahead with a quick link and get right to that question. And today's gonna be a great episode because we're talking about colors and how to choose the best color for your roof. So why don't we start here? Are there some general guidelines for choosing a roof color or does anything go? Well, really nearly anything goes. It, it's, it's up to the homeowner and, and to some degree the metal supplier to, uh, to provide the colors, but uh, really it really comes down to personal preference. Right. Yeah, and, and beyond that, you know, certainly you want to consider some certain environmental factors, what's going on in your neighborhood, uh, where you're kind of geographically located, do you want something of a higher SRI value, things like that, and color can impact that. And can an HOA have a deciding factor in color as well? Absolutely. Some HOAs will only allow for you know low gloss low gloss colors, um, you know, or only allow you to have certain SRIs. So you must have a minimum SRI or higher on a steep slope application. Okay. So what about color trends? How does a building owner consider color trends when choosing color? You know, I think it's something a lot of people pay attention to, but you know, they're they're not beholden to it. So, you know, for instance, today, you know, a lot of darker colors are in, you know, the matte blacks, the the uh, charcoal grays, things like that. And, you know, just a example, you know, 10 years ago, matte black was one of the slowest moving colors and in 2018 it was one of our most popular colors and and you kind of see it more and more out there in the industry yeah. uh, not just metal roofing but you'll see it on you know doors and trims and things like that as well what kind of drives that why does that change in such a short period of time it's a great question thad and uh it, jeff mentioned personal preference uh earlier when we were talking about uh color trends and, and that's the one trend I would say over the last 10 years that we've seen consistently growing is uh, personal expression and individuality. Whether it is the case on our mobile phones or our cars or our social media profiles, uh, homeowners and, and consumers in general are looking for more and more ways that they can express their individuality. So it's natural that they would look for ways to express their individuality with the color of their home. Let's take a look at, at location. How does location factor into color choice? Are there different trends for different areas? Yeah, they, absolutely. I mean, you look at some popular things, you know, Florida, for instance, you know, Spanish tile is very popular in Florida, um, but people are also looking for something that's gonna perform like a standing seam metal roof system. So, you know, in Florida, you see a lot of the Spanish tile colors, the terracottas, the colonial okay. reds. Um, you go to an area that, you know, is more kind of earth tones, be it the mountains or, or the plains, um, you see more earth tones in those types of areas, the browns, the, the tans, uh, you know, the lighter grays, things like that. Um, and furthermore, you go to tropical areas. Um, you might see more of the aged coppers and patina greens, kind of more of that tropical color, you know, uh, softer feel to it. Right. So how do you make sure that your roof complements your siding and trim of your building or home? It's a great question, and obviously a lot of it is the, the preference of the homeowner together with designer and, and architect, but the first place to start is to explore uh, color palettes and, and available colors to, to really start to narrow down your search. Yeah, yeah, and, and a lot of times somebody might come in with something abstract and realize that we have something on our 40 plus uh, PVDF or floor upon colors that are within an acceptable range and they don't need to uh, turn it into a custom project from there. Right. Yeah. So talk me through through that. What if someone wants a non-standard color that you don't offer or provide? Well, we can match virtually any color. We do over 12,000 color matches a year. We've matched everything from bark on a tree to paper bags. Really? Yeah. So uh, there's really very few limitations on, on to what we can what we can provide color for. And, you know, beyond that, when it comes from a consumer, a homeowner, building owner, to us, it's as simple as bringing in that paper bag, bringing in that tree bark. A lot of times it's something that they picked up at, uh, 
you know, a random paint store and they say, this is what I want on my wall. This is what I want on my roof. And we can send it in and, and Valspar Sherman Williams can accommodate that. So if someone can bring in anything to get a color match and get a custom color, why are there standard colors? Well, they're standard colors because those are, you know, what we look at as the available colors. That's kind of common trends in the industry. Um, beyond that, those are the economical colors. So when you start looking at your typical residential homeowner, it's generally a smaller quantity. It's got to go through a whole manufacturing the paint process and coating process, and this is very expensive. So it, it really depends on how much somebody really wants this custom color, particularly on a small run that will really make it or really drive the price of it up. Okay. Uh, conversely, if you've got a large quantity, let's say it's a big big box brand uh, retailer and they want their special blue, uh, that's when it's going to get closer and closer to you know a baseline yeah, standard that makes sense. color. So what about um, other types of finishes other than uh, standard colors and custom colors? What other types of finishes are there? Well, we provide uh, a very wide range of, of colors that we might consider non-standard for this conversation. We, we provide uh, print coats that are used for both roofing and wall. We have texturized coatings. We have different sizes of textures we can put in, in our coatings. We have special effect coatings, uh, different, different degrees of sparkle and different, different uh, types of colors there. And we have uh, a host of thick film coatings that are used can be used in industrial or corrosive environments. So we really have really have a rod. Does that include um, seawater, saltwater type? Yeah, yes, right, right up to the coastline. We have a coating system for that as well. Okay. So when you are looking to put a roof or wall system on your home or building, what are some practical steps that you can take and take all this information in a practical way to choose that color for your system? Well, we have a handful of tools, uh, you know, on our website. So there's the virtual roof builder. Um, that's going to get you kind of close enough. So what does a uh, matte black roof look like? What does a evergreen roof look like? So on and so forth. I think that's a great first step. Um, beyond that, you know, we encourage people to verify that color, meaning it will not look like the color that you see on your computer screen. That could be because of the resolution of your screen, the brightness, you name it. So we want people to get the color that, you know, would be representative in their hands. And how you do that is we have a color chip request form uh, on our website, whether you're a homeowner, architect, uh, you know, builder, contractor, you name it. Uh, we can get you color chips, uh, you know, pick and choose whatever ones you want, or if you want the full deck, we can accommodate that. So that would be the most representative way, even more so than a color chart, uh, of identifying the color that you ultimately want to put on your project. Awesome. Well, thanks so very much, guys. I really appreciate it. I think we learned a lot. Um, and for color trends especially, that you know, a lot of times it's abstract, but I'm really glad that we can put this into some practical knowledge for someone to use. Um, thank you again to Sherwin-Williams. Thanks, Adam, for being on the show. Subscribe to the Metal Roofing channel. Comment below if you have any questions. Anything else, check us out online at CheffieldMetals.com, and we'll catch you next time.